So, Gary, we get an eyewitness account of the Supreme Court. The only thing in the hearing on redistricting that Jessica Farrar told us about, the only thing I didn't hear was whether or not uh, Clarence Thomas was asleep or not. I, you know, that's, I, I think we already know how he's voting, David, so we don't have to worry about yeah, Clarence. Yeah, yeah. So he'll be with our side. What we didn't hear was that the, <laughs> there were already five votes, and they probably got it about six months ago. Well. <laughs> yeah, probably. Who knows? I mean, but it was an interesting discussion and, and actually a very good discussion between Jared and Jessica on some of the issues. And obviously Hispanic uh, voters are, are going to be the battleground as we go forward. And I actually think Republicans will be competitive and hopeful that if Republicans take the White House and control Congress, they actually pass a comprehensive immigration reform bill that makes sense for everybody. And they won't do it unless uh, Je Jessica Farrar and Hispanic leaders uh, collapse in their defense of the Obama administration. If they if they stay home, then, you know, you're right, all of that will happen. No. But if they're motivated, Good. it's a wipeout for Barack Obama in November, Gary. I don't think so. And by the way, we'll invite Jessica to sit at the table when we do immigration reform in Washington. Good idea.